Okay, hi everybody. This is the Math 30-1 Functions Review, and this is question 10. We're going to factor this expression completely. Now, notice the x to the fourth minus 13x squared minus 12x that right off the bat here, I've got a common x. So I can take that out. I've got x cubed minus 13x uh, minus 12. Okay? Now, what i got to do is i got to work on this one right here. So what I'm looking for here to, to factor this, um, I'm looking at that negative 12 here, and I've got a few options here. It could be x plus or minus 1 as a factor. It could be x plus or minus 2 as a factor. x plus or minus 3. x plus or minus 4. x plus or minus 6. x plus or minus 12. I, I've got a bunch, a bunch of options there. Okay, They're all factors of the 12 here. So what I'm going to do here is let's just kind of work at this one by one here. If I plug, let's, let's check x plus 1 first as a factor. That's the very first one I've got there. If I plug negative 1 into this, negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Uh, negative 13 times negative 1 will be positive 13. Oh, well, well, there it is. There it is. This will be negative 1 uh, plus 13 will be 12 minus 12 is 0. So right there, I know that x plus 1 is also a factor. Okay, now I just have to divide that out. So I'm going to use synthetic division. So I'm going to divide by the x plus 1. Uh, so I'll put uh, the negative 1 outside there. Okay, and I'll get 1. Now, notice that the squared term is missing here. So I, what I need to do is put a placeholder. There needs to be a 0 for the squared term, and then there's the negative 13, and then the, the negative 12. So bring down the 1, multiply, and add. Multiply, add, multiply, add and I get 0 as a remainder which is what I was expecting here because because I knew when I plugged that in that that x plus 1 was going to be a factor here so now I can rewrite this expression therefore uh, I know that x to the fourth minus 13 x squared minus 12 x okay can be written as x times x plus 1 Did I mean oh yeah x plus 1 yep times x squared minus x minus 12. Okay, now, this last, <clears throat> this last uh, trinomial here should be factored. So it'll be x times x plus 1. Now, because it's a quadratic, this should be relatively easy to factor, I'm hoping. x and x and factors of negative 12 that add to negative 1 will be negative 4 and then positive 3. And so there we go. x times x plus 1 times x minus 4 times x plus 3. That's, that's the factored form of this expression.